Youngsters should be banned from being MPs? Consider the low IQ mentally ill rubbish sitting in Parliament these days, all pretending to be caring kind representatives of the people and planet? Especially from the New Zealand Green and Tea Party Maori parties, you really don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out that there is something seriously wrong with the job entry selection requirements to become a member of Parliament. In the United States of America, to be elected as a representative of Congress, you must be at least 25 years old, a United States citizen for at least 7 years, and a resident of the district or state you represent. In New Zealand, not only can you be a woke dope pushing mentally ill drunk queer, you only need to be 18 years old and a New Zealand citizen. Worse still, a foreigner can fast track their way into New Zealand citizenship via overseas special visa means, and voila! They're suddenly telling Kiwis what's best for them and how best to run the country, even before the dust settles. Just look at the utter rubbish that sits in the house asking repetitive low IQ stupid questions, wasting the government's time, over and over again. It's obvious that Parliament should not be a place for these ignoramuses to fester. How can New Zealand move forward when the government allows mentally ill children to try and run the country? In order to qualify as a member of Parliament in New Zealand, the minimum age should be at least 25 years old, but ideally 30 years old. And applicants should also have been a citizen for at least 10 years, but ideally 15 years. Why does New Zealand allow mentally ill children to become members of parliament? Thank you for listening. Geraint, on behalf of Funerate Him.